Hey guys, here our topic is post system exception. What happens in the RE framework? Okay. Now for that, all you have to do the system exception is actually where exactly it happens. If I ask you in the process state, right? During processing, a system exception could occur. So all you do go inside the process transaction state. Now all you do, you know, uh, let's collapse all. Okay, let's collapse all. In the process transition state is a state it's just a state and in the entry block there is a try what you have there's a try activity okay so let me put it so what do you have there's a try activity in the entry section now in the end after that you can see the try catch block here in the try inside this what happens the processing would happen okay inside this and if there is some kind of a error happens during processing then it could be two different kind of errors one it could be business rule exception the other could be system exception if it is a system exception then it will come here okay into this block and click on here you would find there is a try catch once again there is a try catch block so what we how we went we went to exception and inside that there is a try catch block means try block within a try block okay now inside this try block what we have we have invoke set transaction status xaml file invoke what we have inside invoke very important invoke set transaction status xaml file so this is very very important file you have to have complete understanding of this file so this is first thing where exactly it is available you should know now the next thing is you can open it directly from here open workflow or else from here also you can open okay two different ways to open the same file okay so here when they uh, so how it is working if it is successful then it comes to the success block if it is if there is a business will exception it will come to this block if there is a system exception it will come to this block right if there is success then it will go and to go to the get transaction data to fetch the next data if there is a business exception it will again go to the get transaction data and fetch the next data but when the system exception comes it has to retry right it has to retry so the question here is um, you know what would happen for system exception so for that you have to study the system exception block getting it so uh, so as i said for re framework you should have all these xaml files you have to read properly at least you should have a functional knowledge how they are working so here we are focusing on the system exception block okay so in the system exception block what you do first of all collapse all okay collapse all because here we have to just focus what is important what exactly happens so the very first thing log message all this minor things you ignore look at this the very first important thing it does is try taking screenshot what it does try taking screenshot take screenshot okay so why they are saying try, try taking screenshot if you see there's a try block and here they, they have kept a invoke take screenshot so when the system exception happens when the system exception happens the error could appear and disappear immediately or the application might get closed so taking a screenshot there is a chance you can take a screenshot or even there is a chance you fail to take a screenshot right so that's why they have kept it in try catch block okay and which workflow is being used take screenshot xaml file take screenshot xaml file is it clear until here so the very first thing is take screenshot take screenshot xaml file okay this is the very first thing now what is the second thing that happens again let me minimize the second important thing that happens is invoke look at this invoke retry current transaction workflow okay retry current transaction xaml file is the next thing retry current uh, transaction dot xaml that is the next thing that happens retry current transaction workflow now inside this retry current transaction workflow you don't exactly retry the retry so if the system exception happens how can you retry here because the application itself has failed right so it has to go to the init block and then again come down and then retry the same it has to reopen the application then do it so what is this retry it just improves your the, the increases that io retry number count okay if you go inside the workflow you can i have videos on all of this 
so but again in short it will improve it will increase that io underscore retry number count okay inside this function now the very important aspect is it the first thing it does is okay uh, one thing there has to be after taking a screenshot uh, where it is it has to set the transaction status okay that is the second thing so you can see a uh, set transaction status yeah the second thing after because after that it has to set in the orchestrator as failed with system exception right it has to say failed with system exception so the next activity that happens is set transaction status okay this is your second this is your third and the fourth one that happens is close application close application clear so have a complete look at everything how things are going in a sequence okay um, then the final thing that happens is try closing the application clear now after closing the application what happens it will go to the init block it will go to the init block and in the init block what will do it will try to init initialize all application right so if you go back to the main right so here after this it will come to the init block right when the system exception occurs it will come to the init block and inside the init block or initialization block invoke init all application right this is the next thing that happens it will try to reopen those applications once again initialize all applications okay so here uh, generally this workflow uh, remains uh, mostly blank uh, because you have to again reopen that application for where exactly you have mentioned the path of the application or what application so all that need to be designed separately but again uh, broadly this is what exactly happens sequence of activity that happens post your system exception very important take your time spend time and go through the workflow and have a proper understanding so that any kind of questions framed um, on this specific area you should be able to answer okay that should be your goal not trying to remember something and go rather understanding everything and go to the exam thank you guys let's move on to our next topic